what is up slim shady gaming here here bringing you back another video and for this video today i'll be bringing you guys on how to download games onto your sega genesis ultimate portable game player i always found that a pretty big name i don't know if you guys think that as well it's pretty funny though and uh let me know um if uh, this definitely helps you guys out and anyways let us hop into the video so for this video i'm going to show you guys how to basically transfer files of games such you know basically Sega Genesis games onto the game player because that's the only thing that the game player does play and it's really good because it's like a portable Sega Genesis it's like a Game Boy but for Sega of course now let's uh, get into this so of course on the top right here is where the SD card will be right here we'll read the SD card and then of course here it is right here the SD card that I use I use a 2 gigabyte you really don't need anything that big if you want to get 10 gigs then definitely go ahead but I feel like all the games that you'll need will be taking up like between like 500 megabytes to one gigabyte that's how much it took up for me when i downloaded a whole ton of games because i download a lot of games uh because i'm into uh so you know hack games for sonic there's a lot of hacked roms for sonic which are pretty fun by the way which i'll show you guys um which will download uh for an example but uh anyways when you uh have your sd card right here uh one thing i must mention is do not get the ones that say sdhc if you want with the HC on it, it will not work whatsoever. So just get one that just says SD. So basically, just get one that looks like this one right here. It doesn't have to be blue or anything. <laughs> it just has to say SD, and um, it just has to be an SD memory card. That that's all it has to be. But uh, anyways, that's all you really need when it comes down to that. Now you, a lot of you guys may be like, "Well, I can't really download games on there. I do everything that I need to." Uh, usually, the, for the reason is because you need a. It's because, you know, if it doesn't play zip files like other emulators do. So you actually need to um, physically, you know, use uh, either a .gen file, a .smd file, and, um, yeah, gen, smd, and a bin file. Those are the only three files that can be read on here. And those are all basically Sega Genesis uh, game files. You're not going to see many smd files. You're mostly going to be seeing uh, bin or gen so that's basically what you're just going to be, you know, seeing most of the time when downloading games and such, which I'll show you guys in a bit on. But um, anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to actually download games onto the Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Game Player. So anyways, let us get started. So let's go run to the computer real quick. Alrighty, so now that we are here on the desktop, uh, you can use any desktop, by the way. You can use really anything as long as you can transfer um a bin gen or smd file to your sd card so that's basically all you really need uh so anyways um what we're going to do now is we're going to pop in the uh, sd card i know what you boys might have been thinking there i know i know all right so now as we can see the removable device is now detected so now what we're going to do is open up the file application um on your uh, computer or Windows Explorer depending on what operating system you are using uh, what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna click on here onto your uh, SD card and you're gonna make a new folder now when you first go onto the SD card nothing will be here nothing and um, uh, make sure too when you have an SD card make sure you know uh, if it already has two stuff on here then it's fine but um if there's nothing on here what you're gonna do is basically click new folder and then it's gonna be called uh, game just capital all capital letters G A M E and then uh, just click enter now when you just have the game folder there or if you have all three folders here then that's perfect either way is perfect alright so now that you are finished with that you can now actually download some ROMs so uh, anyways let's get started with that alright so uh, usually of course like many of you will say and I'll give the disclaimer as well if you do have the game, then you definitely can download it. It's legal if you download a ROM, if you already have the game in real life. But we know how most people are nowadays, so <laughs> no need to uh, say that that much. But I'm just going to say that, just to uh, give you guys a fair warning. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I love using this website called Sonic Retro. There's a lot of fan, cool fan games on here. There's a lot of cool ROM hacks for the original Sonic games and uh, much, much more. So uh, anyways, we're going to find a game, and then I want to show, show you guys how it is when downloading a game, and uh, how to actually convert it on uh, to your Sega Genesis. 
uh, some things will be in zip files, so you have to extract them. And then there's seven Z files, which you'll have to convert. So I'll show you guys that. I'll show you the seven Z files on how to convert them uh, pretty soon. I'm not going to do that yet because I do want to show you guys uh, the zip files first off. If it's already uh, a bin file that you're downloading or already a gen file that you're downloading or an SMD, then you're already fine. You're already good. Um, but it's a zip file. I'm going to show you how to do that now, actually. So we're going to go through just a random one right here. Let's go through audio uh, hacks right here because some of them have uh, all of them are different in some ways and forms. All right. So now we're going to look through right here and we're just going to choose a random one out of the bunch that I do not have yet. I'm just going to choose this one right here. So sometimes um, whenever you go to one, it'll just give you a whole bunch of information about the hack. And uh, basically you look through all that and then you can actually download it. Uh, let me see here. All right, here we are. So as you can see right here, here's just a random uh, hack right here. So as you can see, you can read about it if you want to. I use this website for downloading games for my second channel to make reviews on. I uh, will be doing that soon. Uh, whenever I can because um, it's been taking me a while since you know I've been kind of cram packed so I only can make uh, videos for my primary channel which is on games mostly uh, not retro consoles and such uh, anyways so as we'd see right here here's all the stuff and then you can actually download the game right here called down uh, just make sure you download the recent version this one's from 2010 this is the most recent version so just download that and then you'll be pretty good to go. That's the zip file. I'm going to show you guys um, twice on how to do it. I, I'm going to exit out of this right here. And that will be the converter that we'll use in a bit. But I'll show you guys that soon. Uh, I also have a .7z file. So when you download that, I'll show you guys how to do that in a bit too. So I'm going to exit out of this. I just want to show you guys what I meant by a 7z file. I think I said Z7. <laughs> oh well, but um, all right. So since I showed you guys how to put the game, uh, the game folder on there, then you should be pretty good. I'll show you guys how to uh, transfer the games to there in a second. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna extract these two files. Uh, it'll only be one file, as you can see, the one that we were talking about and the one that we were gonna use or that we just downloaded is this one right here. So that would be the one that uh, we're talking about so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna open up the zip if you're on Windows or, uh, Windows there's probably an application for opening up is uh, zip files and the same thing for Mac as well I don't know uh, too much about Mac but as you can see here here's the bin file so you just hold on and grab it let me do that go to the SD card then you go to the game folder and then drop it there and then the same thing for uh, any other zip file. So I'll show you again. So you click on it, open up the zip file. You go into a folder if there is a folder. And if there's a bin file, then you just extract it. Uh, this one isn't a, um, this one uh, plays through uh, PC. This is just a fan game right here, but I'm just showing you guys whenever you're uh, zipping a game. This is a game that's um, on Windows. Or whatever so if you guys want to download some fan games that play on windows then you could definitely do that um so but uh i'm gonna go out of those two you can actually delete them once you're uh finished up downloading and extracting the games from the computer and then there you go uh so may so hopefully now you guys got that seven uh the zip file thing down uh so basically you just go into the zip file open it and then if there's any folder go into it and then once you find the bin file, which will have the game name on it, it should have the game name on it. If it doesn't, then don't download it. Make sure it has the game name. And then you just hold it and then drag it to the SD card into the game folder. That's about it. All right, so we're almost done. So now what we're uh, the last thing I want to show you guys is how to uh, extract the 7Z files to zip. So basically, you go to this website called uh, Convertio.co. I'll put that in the description. I'll put everything... Uh, that you want to download in the description if you just want to download regular uh, Sega Genesis games you can go to e um, emu paradise I forgot to uh, mention that before I'll probably put that earlier in the video uh, if you guys have seen that um, just saw uh, you know people will know because uh, this is you know this is uh, for other things as well it's not only for Sonic games because there's uh, you know several different zip files for many games uh, so anyways 
uh, you're just gonna open that Z7C file, and then after you do that, you're just gonna click convert, and boom. Now it should be converting, and uh, just make sure if you ever want to use this for anything else, because it converts a lot of different types of files. Uh, the maximum is 100 megabytes, which is barely nothing when it comes to Sega Genesis games. So, so now we are actually going to now download the file. And as you can see, it's downloading in a zip. So now you can click show in folder. Now we're going to do the same process for the zip. So we're going to open up the zip file. And then you would uh, drag the bin or .gen file. And then you would just drag it onto the SD card onto the game. Like I said, these are for uh, different... Um, these are for different things. This isn't for uh, just Genesis games. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it's not going to be like this when you download a regular Sega Genesis game from the Sonic Retro website. Uh, these are all just fan games that uh, I was uh, looking up and which are pretty cool, by the way. If uh, you guys have a Windows PC and you want to play some uh, um, EXE, uh, you know, uh, file games, then you can go right ahead. You can go right ahead. Uh, but like I said... Once you're done extracting them, you can delete them from the computer. And then you should be uh, definitely good to go. So now what we can actually do is you can actually uh, take out the SD card. Make sure you extract it uh, safely first, as you can see what I just did now. So now I can now remove the SD card. And then there you go. Easy as that. Uh, if you just remove it right away, it's just going to give you that little uh, warning. It's because it can corrupt files, so... Keep that in mind. Uh, stay. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to show you um, me uh, just, you know, putting the um, SD card into the Sega Genesis uh, Ultimate Portable Game Player and just uh, showing you guys how to go to the games and how to play them. Um, I'm going to stop talking from here so I can just let you guys watch. So, anyway, guys, have a great one and peace.